Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody Facebooked me a message with a photograph and a question that she wanted to put four words, uh, fit text to path on four different lines. This is relatively easy, and it's it's a good it's a good question, and I just got through doing it, and there you have it. Um, the short words. You know, or a little bit to path, and I don't know what size your circles are, but it's uh, really pretty easy. So we're going to take these and we're going to put them in the center of the page because if you watch enough videos, I like to work in the center of the page, even though in this case it doesn't really matter. But I've typed out the four words. Now you could type them out separately. You know, just type I N, go to another deal, and H O. And then you'd have four separate words, but you can do it all in one typing. And then just go to arrange and break apart or control K, and it's broken each individual word up. Then just take your first word and go to text, fit text to path, and go on the inside. And, and most of the time it's going to be upside down. In this case, because you're, you're doing it on the bottom of the deal, but that's easily corrected. We're just going to get them in there and close. So I'm, all I'm doing is going to fit text to path, and I'm putting them on the line or close to the line. And there you have it. Now, all you have to do is turn them around. So what you have to do is you have to mirror it one direction and then mirror it the other direction. Then... Then just move it down and you can kind of see a highlight. And when you see that red mark, that means you're in the center. So that one's good. Make sure you grab just the word. Mirror it that direction. Mirror it that direction. Hold it down. You see the red line. And we're about on that other line. Same thing with honor. Mirror it that way, that way, bring it down till you see the red line. Having a little bit of trouble just getting the word. Tell you what you could always do is put that on back of page. I don't know why it's not letting me move that. Well, I don't need to move it. And then just bring it down so you see that red dot. Then select everything and arrange, break all eight characters apart. And you can actually leave those lines in there because if you draw in a hairline like I do, they're not going to engrave. But it'd be just as simple just to get them out of the way in case you're cutting something else. I truly hope that it helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.